Hello everyone, I'm Rashika Karki here together with my teammates Bihar Shrestha, Prithivira Shrestha and Pragya Khatka. Through this video, we would like to heartily welcome you all to find out what we have done for our overall mini research project on UI design for online learning platform targeted for children. Basically, our mini research project has also been built taking in consideration the need to improve the UI design of an online learning platform targeted for kids. We begin by taking some sample websites to analyze the build, such as ABC Mouse, BrainPop, and finally took a site called CoolMath as our reference site and aim to overcome the disadvantages it had with our project. To develop any product in the right direction, we all need to research the experience of our users and discover the needs so that we can build and design appropriate solutions. Keeping this in mind, we proceeded by conducting a survey to understand users' requirements. This survey was designed for parents of kids since they fall into the loop of people who would use such websites and have a close understanding of child's mentality. The results obtained from the survey were analyzed. With that, we read a lot of research papers which were based on child psychology to better understand the design to be used for child-centric online learning platform. And some of the insights that we found were, design should display clear, specific instruction leveraging kids' mental models and prior knowledge. And instructions should be tailored to kids' level of understanding. With that, we should use existing mental models and knowledge about the world to help kids accomplish tasks and also reduce cognitive load by designing self-explanatory interfaces and prevent possible errors. Based on all the insights that we had gathered, we then moved on to build our first prototype of our system. We even conducted user persona designs so that we could create understanding and empathy with the end users and meet the unspoken requirements as well. And finally, we performed cognitive walkthrough with some users who made our persona profile to evaluate our system. After all this step, we got some valuable insights regarding what we were missing and what was not needed in the design. And here are some highlight points concerning those found insights. After knowing these facts, we moved on to redesigning our paper prototype. Then we performed heuristic evaluation on the same design to understand the usability problems it consisted of. Through this evaluation, we identified that our prototype design wasn't much lacking in any vital criteria as mentioned in the heuristic evaluation. In fact, it even fulfilled a lot of evaluation standards such as consistency, uh, reducing certain memory load, and a lot more. Hence, we decided it to be our final design prototype and aimed at implementing the same. Now, let me give you a walkthrough of our project. We've tried to use a lot of contrast colors in our project to grab the attention of the children instantly, but we have made sure to not to overdo it as from our research, we found out that children do not like sites that is overly colorful. Also, we have found from our research that children's specific sites should avoid uh, vertical scrolling as much as possible. So instead of uh, vertical scrolling, we have implemented horizontal scrolling. The navigation bar that we have used is a simple horizontal navigation bar with a wider navigation button. As we found out that children has a poor mouse control, so we want them to easily navigate through the website. Throughout our website, we have used horizontal scrolling more than vertical scrolling, keeping it consistent. We have added related topics and back button to make the navigation easier. Also, we have tried to replicate the design of a, of a normal textbook for a more stronger mind map and a progress bar to track their progress. Once they have completed the course, they also get a feedback that the course is completed. This is our project. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.